Hey what's up guys, Footy Manager TV here and I'm back after about a week or so away. Um, I've been playing Football Manager, the better version. It's uh, The full version is released in a couple days which I've got the pre-order for obviously to get access to the better, uh, which I'm on now. Uh, I'm going to be doing a save with Tottenham, uh, doing a series. I've just started it now, just the friendly matches basically. As you can see here's the result, some good ones, some bad ones, but I just rotated the team so it's uh, it's not a true indi indication of where the team's at. But yeah, I'll show you a couple uh, transfers I did with the budget I had, which was about 45 million, which is a pretty good budget. And they've already bought a few players like uh, uh, Dempsey and Dembele, so uh, they're a very uh, rich team. I'll just show you something, uh, what they'll get a lot of money from basically. Uh, with the affiliated clubs, they got uh, San Jose, an international from United States and Brazil, which uh, helps, as you can see here, the presence of Tottenham in Bra within Brazil will be a major benefit to all merchandising merchandising sales. And I'm actually trying to get another one, maybe in Asia, but we'll see what that comes back with. Uh, Hong Kong, actually, as well. So we've got three. That's where they get, most teams don't even have one, and Tottenham have three, uh, getting merchandising uh getting popular in China, Brazil, and uh, the US. So that's a ver uh, one thing it's really good with them. As you can see, finance is rich. Uh, got a couple hard rivals. Uh, it's hard with that when you have good rivals. Um, if you don't win those matches, your uh, fans get really disappointed. So that's pretty hard. As you can see, season ticket holders, 25,000, not bad. Um, loan debt, 80 million. We're in the Euro Cup, or Europa League, as it's called. I would like to try and win that. I believe Tottenham have the squad to win that. But I think teams like Inter are in it as well. So it'll be hard to win, but we'll see what we can do. And media predi prediction is sixth. So uh, I think that's pretty good expectations. I'll just check out what the actual team wants. See, now they have board promises in the game. They want you to play attacking football and give youth a chance from your team. So they have different ones like buy youth players for the team and stuff like that which I think is a good uh, addition to the Football Manager game. Uh, anyway, I'll go back to what I was saying about my tr transfers. I had about $45 million. So I went ahead, uh, uh, went ahead and sold Genus. He was already transfer listed when I started the game, so I thought I might as well so sell him as we have a lot of better players than him in his position. I sold him for $5 million, which I think is a good amount. And just so you know, it's in Australian dollars, so the pricing might be a, a bit lower or higher, depends which currency you use. So you yeah, sold them for five million million as long uh, along with Brad Friedel for one million. As I thought I already got Gomez who I probably think is a better backup and obviously Yoris is a really good goalkeeper and he'll be the main one unless he gets injured. And like I said Gomez is pretty a uh, good backup but he's a very eccentric goalkeeper which I might not like. I just gotta see how they play in the game but I don't think he'll get much chances unless Yoris gets injured like I said. Uh but yeah here's the main part here we spent 46.5 million for three players, which are very good young players. Firstly, we got Aid Milson, who's a very good young player. I've tested him in a few uh, saves that I've uh, just tested over the last couple of days. He scored a hat trick in my, my Chelsea save in the Euro Cup, uh, the Super Cup, sorry, the the final against uh, At Atletico Madrid, and he was man of the match, scored a hat trick, which which is. Uh, you can't get better than that, really, from a young striker, and he's only going to get better. I checked on a football manager website, and someone posted a screenshot when he was 24, and his finishing went up to 19, and he was just a beast striker at all levels, really. So it'll be good to see when he uh, fully like he uh, gels with the other team, uh, other players, and stuff like that. He could be really good. And eight million his his is his release clause. So. Um, it's probably a bit cheaper than you'll get him if he didn't have a release clause, re release clause like that. So that's pretty good. And same with this guy, Wellington Nem. He's going to be a really good player as well and pretty good already. Uh, got him for 5.5 million as that was his release clause. As you can see, well below his true value, which is 12 million, and he should have, he would sell for over tw uh, 20 million uh, most likely. But there's one thing I don't really like: Brazilian attacking midfielders. Maybe just because they're weak. As you can see, his jumping's only four, strength only six. So I prefer him to play him out wide. I'll probably play him as the right winger uh, over Lennon. Lennon's better off the bench, in my opinion, because he's got really good pace and he can get those crosses in and get past defenders when they're tired. So yeah, he's a good prospect. 
uh, I would advise you to get him if you're a top team. And also my last signing a day later, Stefan Javetic, Javetic, sorry, and he's uh, for 33 million, which I think is a good price to get him for. Uh, he probably could have sold for more, uh, but I negotiated well, got him for as probably as cheap as I could. He, I can play him as a striker or right wing or left wing, so um, I'll see what uh, I can do because we've obviously already got Adebayor and Jermaine Defoe, so it'll be tough who to choose. I'll probably play him out wide. Obviously, we've got Bale. He's going to be uh, that position left wing locked in there. No one's going to take his that position from him. It's probably going to be a battle for the right wing position, really, in between him, uh, Jovetic, uh, Lennon, and uh, Wellington Nem, who i got also other players like Clint Dempsey. Uh, so, yeah, we've got to uh, build our tactic around that. And just on my tactic, I'll show you how it, what it looks like right now. It's basically just a 4-3-3. Wingers very pushed up, attacking to run down and a, a drill the cross, uh, crosses in, uh, a lot of crosses, but I haven't really tested how it works yet, just in the friendly matches, so um, I might edit it a bit and see how it goes, but it's not bad. I made some other tactics, they did well, but they're a bit different positions, I tried to experiment, it did well, but there was a couple matches where they didn't do good, so uh, like I got knocked out of the the, the just the qualifying stages with Newcastle, so uh, if I, I probably would have continued that save, but with Newcastle if I didn't get knocked out, but I just moved on trying to test different tactics and I'm, uh, with Tottenham now, so um, we'll see how this goes. It's a, Like I said, I might make a, another tactic to, to this with uh, maybe with center mids, push them up and make an attacking midfielder against easier teams maybe, but I think this is a good balance tactic. And yeah, I've got, like I said, with the right wing, no one's really spot on yet. Uh, we've got Kyle Walker. I'm teaching him to play right wing as well because he's got the pace as well, so and good crossing. So yeah, it's a really we've got a lot of players. Uh, not like the left wing, we've got Bale. He's basically, um, like I said, he's gonna got that position all to himself right now. But if he gets injured or something, um, I'm not sure who we can maybe put Dembele. And um, but yeah, on Dembele, I'm not sure what position he is best at because he's got 10 crossing and 10 finishing so that sort of puts me off to put him as a winger or striker but then he's got good dribbling and technique which um as a striker or winger you'll be good at so i'm te yeah he, he could be the center mid maybe or i'm teaching him to play a uh, defensive midfielder as a deep lying black playmaker which i think is probably his best position because he's got good strength can win the ball back and he's good attacking as well but not not so with the finishing, maybe just creating uh, chances for other players. Also, there's just one, a uh, couple other things. First, I'll check uh, the training. It's changed heaps, as you can see here. When I first saw it, I had no idea what was happening. As you can see here, you got the match training. I put it's for me. It's best. I just always do it on teamwork until the team gels. Basically, after a couple matches, after the league starts, then I probably go to defensive positioning and defensive if I'm conceding from set pieces I'll work on the set pieces defending set pieces I usually I just uh, go at team cohesion or attacking uh, I'll probably yeah I put team cohesion during the friendly matches but now we're just uh, a couple days away from the Arsenal game so I'm gonna uh, test because in my games I was pretty good defensively but uh, didn't score heaps of goals um, yeah struggled to score goals but this uh, formation is more attacking so um, yeah, I'll work on my attacking attributes of the team, but yeah, you got to rotate it. I'll probably change it through time, a, f a few times in the month, work on ball control, defending tactics, so they can just uh, learn all parts of the games well. Um, the, yeah, like I said, there's heaps of things. Look at the uh, staff responsibilities. Um, yeah, there's just heaps of things. You can uh, choose your staff to do any, you can choose uh, one of your staff to choose young players for the future. Uh, they've got a few new uh, staff roles, as you can see, Head of Youth Development, which is a new staff role, which you can use them to find youth players. If, you, if, you're, not, if you're not good at uh, finding young players, you find it hard, uh, you, you can just assign them, sign a good uh, Head of Youth Development. Also, Chief Scout, who's, who can set the assignments. Sometimes I can't be bothered with setting all my uh, scouts with uh, scouting assignments, so I just leave it to him, and he, and he does it well. He signs some good players. And as you can see, I haven't got in too far into the game yet, so I don't know. I'm not sure about when you get the regens. So you, you got head of youth development here. So he brings the youth players to the team, and he uh he gives you updates on the players basically. And you got a director of football. I'm not sure what they do actually. 
actually, but I'm sure you can uh, assign them maybe to higher higher staff and stuff like that. Uh, find find players for the team, like I said. Uh, finalizes signings for young players and all that kind of stuff. So the game is really in depth now, which I'm really good, uh, excited about. Um, like I said, Tottenham's team they've got a good backup in each position, so they're a really solid team. Uh, unfortunately, Manchester City is basically unbeatable in the game, especially after winning the league last year. Their attributes even more bumped up. They're impossible to beat. Well, not impossible. I bet them actually with Chelsea, but it's really hard. Um, most most occasions they'll win. Uh, one other save they had, they basically won 20 games in a row and they were far in front. So it's going to be hard to beat them, but that, um, that's a challenge. But as Tottenham, I don't expect to come first, but obviously you always want to do as best you can. So I'll be trying to win as many games as I can. And yeah, so th um, this is my Tottenham series I'm going to be doing. I'll probably do maybe one other one, maybe two, just depends. I might want to do a team outside of England because I haven't really tried that yet because um, in any any football manager game really because I found it a bit difficult with like different rules of the leagues. Like only si you can only si a li sign like a limited limited amount of uh, foreign players like from South America, not non-European players. So we'll see how that goes. Um yeah, just leave your thoughts and suggestions for any other team teams I'll be doing, like I did uh, in a previous video uh, of an A-League journey I'll be doing with mostly probably from people from Australia who watch that. But yeah, they'll be excited for me and people who watch that. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. Leave a like and I'll see you next time.